today we are going to learn about frequency response of an amplifier. Completion of the topic, students will be able to analyze the frequency response of an amplifier. Frequency response of amplifiers. In the small signal low frequency analysis of transistor, the coupling and bypass capacitor were replaced by short circuit and internal device capacitance were replaced by open circuit. Thus, the effect of all the capacitive elements present in the circuit were neglected. This is valid when the frequency of the amplifier is in mid-range. The capacity reactance decreases with frequency, so at very low frequency, the coupling and bypass capacitors cannot be considered as short circuit because their reactants are too large enough to be neglected. At high frequencies, the reactants of transistor internal capacitance are very low, so they cannot be treated as open circuit. In order to understand the effect of frequency on the amplifier, all the capacitor effects have to be considered. Low frequency analysis of BJT. The factors affecting the bandwidth of an RC coupled amplifier are coupling capacitor C1 and C2, bypass capacitor CE, internal capacitance of the BJT. The capacitor C1 and C2 are coupling capacitor used for blocking the DC part and allowing only the AC part of the signal to pass through. Reactance of a capacitor is given by XC is equal to 1 by 2 pi FC. The capacitive reactance will increase with decrease in frequency and it will decrease with increase in frequency F. Therefore, the coupling capacitors will offer a very low reactance in mid and high frequency region and they can be replaced by short circuit. So, they do not have any effect at medium and high frequencies. At low frequencies, the reactance of coupling capacitor will be large. Due to this, the voltage drop across them increases with reduction in frequency. This increased voltage drop will reduce both the output voltage and gain of the amplifier in the low frequency region of the frequency response. Overall gain is reduced due to attenuation provided by the input RC network. The reduction in overall gain is given by AV is equal to 20 log V out by V in, that is 20 log 0.707 is equal to minus 3 dB. The frequency FC at this condition is called lower critical frequency and it is given by FC is equal to 1 by 2 pi Rn C1, where Rn is equal to R1 parallel R2 parallel HI. FC is equal to 1 by 2 pi into R1 parallel R2 parallel HI C1. That is, here we substitute the Rn value in the FC equation. If the resistance of the input source is taken into account, the above equation becomes FC is equal to 1 by 2 pi into Rs plus Rn into C1. The phase angle in an input R circuit is expressed as theta is equal to tan inverse XC1 by Rn. The analysis of FET amplifier. It has two RC networks that affects its gain as the frequency is reduced below mid-range. These are uh, number one RC network formed by the input coupling capacitor C1 and input impedance of the amplifier. RC network formed by the output coupling capacitor and the output impedance looking in at the drain. The lower critical frequency of this network can be given as Fc is equal to 1 by 2 pi Rn C1, where Rn is equal to Rg parallel Rn, that is gate. The value of Rn gate can be determined from the data sheet as follows, that is Rn gate is equal to Vgs by Igss, where Igss is the gate reverse current. The phase shift in the low frequency input as the circuit is theta is equal to tan inverse Sc1 by Rn. The figure shows the output RC network formed by C2 and the output impedance looking at the drain. The lower critical frequency of this network can be given as FC is equal to 1 by 2 pi into RT plus RL into C2. High frequencies analysis of BJT. At high frequency, the coupling and bypass capacitor act as a short circuit and do not affect the amplifier frequency response. However, at high frequency, the internal capacitance do come into play and the figure shows the high frequency equivalent circuit for the given amplifier circuit. Using Miller's theorem, this high frequency equivalent circuit can be further simplified as follows. The internal capacitance CBC can be split into C in Miller and C out Miller. The C in Miller is equal to CBC into AB plus 1. AB denotes the voltage gain. C 
C out mean that is equal to C B C that is C B C into A B plus one by A B that is C B C. And the figure shows that there are two R C network which affect the high frequency response of an amplifier. These are input R C network and output R C network. High frequency analysis of FET. The figure shows the typical common source amplifier and the high frequency equivalent circuit of the given amplifier circuit. It shows that at a high frequencies, coupling and bypass capacitor act as short circuit and do not affect the amplifier high frequency response. The equivalent circuit shows the internal capacitance which affect at high frequencies. Using Miller's theorem, this high frequency equivalent circuit can be further simplified as follows. The internal capacitance CGD can be split into C in Miller and C out Miller as shown in the figure. So C in Miller is equal to CGD into AB plus 1 and C out Miller is equal to CGD into AB plus 1 by AB. The Fed data sheet do not directly provide values of CGS and CG. The data sheet normally provide values for input capacitance and the reverse transfer characteristics.